This is the Tautronics 1500 watt ceramic tower heater. Let's take it out of the box. So in the box you get the instruction manual. I've already had a flip through that and it's written in absolutely plain English. So that's really nice. It explains all of the features and functions of it. It also comes with a remote control. And if you misplace the remote control or prefer not to use it, there are buttons right on top of the unit there. You can do all the same functions from the unit as you can from the remote control. So let's go ahead and plug this in. I'll tell you a little bit about it and then we'll turn it on. So as I had mentioned earlier, this is a 1500 watt ceramic heater. It'll heat up within three seconds. You can see the ceramic elements right there in the center. The heat is fan forced into the room. This can oscillate back and forth 70 degrees to help disperse the heat through the room. And you have three modes of operation. You have high, which is 1500 watts. You have low, which is 900 watts. And you also have an eco mode where the heater will automatically adjust between 900 and 1500 watts depending on the ambient temperature in the room. So it'll know what's best for uh, the particular situation that's going on at that time. Once the unit is plugged in, there is a status indicator there just to let you know that power is applied and we can go ahead and turn it on. I'll use the remote right here. Okay, here is the remote. Once again, all of the same functions there. So we'll go ahead. Oh, and by the way, this takes uh, AAA batteries. As you can see right there, these are not included. You have to put those in yourself. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. So it's turned on, very quiet operation. It's already warm. And up here, I'll show you, is the uh, display. It's a digital display that shows the temperature. You can raise and lower that. So we'll run that all the way down. So it goes up to a maximum of 95 and wraps around to 41 degrees. So it'll operate and heat the room from 41 to 95 degrees. Right now it says it's on high right there. The heat is absolutely belting out of the unit. Absolutely belting out of here. It's uh, really quite powerful and quite nice. We'll go ahead and try the oscillation mode. So we'll press that button and you'll see that it will start to oscillate. And as that goes back and forth, I can most certainly feel that heat come back and forth. So this should do a very nice job in heating a room up. Uh, with the oscillation and it's 1500 watts. We'll turn off the oscillation and now it has um, low, so we'll put it there. There was a relay that clicked in there that shut off the additional power and the air coming out is still quite warm and I'll give you a temperature gun reading in just a moment. And there's also the eco mode where it feels that right now it should be on high. I'll lower the temperature down to, oh, 73 maybe. But it still feels that right now it should be on high. When you go and shut the unit off, you hear a relay click and you'll notice there's a countdown display. What it's doing now is it's still running the fan in the unit to cool off the heating element because that helps to protect it. And once it's done, it just shuts off. So we're going to go ahead and turn it back on. I'll put it on low mode. Okay. And that should come on in just a second. And here is a temperature reading.
So it's putting out 90 something degree air, almost up to 100 something on low. It's quite warm all around. It's actually come up a little bit into the 100 and something range at this point. So that looks like it works pretty well. And now I'll go ahead and switch this over to high. We'll give that just a few seconds to heat up. So we're reading about 200 some odd degrees in this mode, depending exactly where it's pointed but the heat is most certainly really hot coming out of this over here. We're almost up to 250, so this really gets cooking pretty good. There's also a timer function. And running through this is hours. So you can set between one in 12 hours or set it to zero to turn it off and after that time it will shut off. Also with no timer set and nothing else this will of course get to the temperature that it reads there and once the room is heated to that and it senses it it will shut off for the time being until the room gets cooler again at which point it will turn back on to maintain temperature in the room. When the heater is in operation as such, if no buttons are pressed and it's just left alone, like as if you had forgotten about it, it will automatically turn off within 24 hours to avoid potential problems. Uh, it also has built-in overheat protection, so if it does end up overheating for some reason, it will automatically shut itself down. And it also has a tip-over switch, so if I take the unit and knock it over it tells you and then we'll go ahead and press the button again and it'll come back into operation in just a moment there we are you can of course also set this to Celsius if you feel more comfortable with that reading there. So once again this was the Tautronics 1500 watt ceramic tower heater. A very well designed heater, nicely pointed, sleek design, oscillation, low, high and eco modes, and a remote control on top of everything else. This is a great heater all around. If you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link to Tautronics website where you can find the heater available for sale. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.